Dead by Daylight has a really weird community. Now, if you don't know what the game is, let me explain. Dead by Daylight describes itself as an asymmetrical multiplayer survival horror game, where a team of four survivors go up against one killer. There are tons of different maps to play on, but the goal is always the same. As a survivor, you have to repair five generators by pressing E on them, and once all five generators have been repaired, the exit gates will get power. Open gates, run into abyss. As the killer, on the other hand, your goal is to sacrifice the survivors to the entity by gently placing them on meat hooks. They can then be rescued by other survivors, or by attempting to unhook themselves if they saw this image once. But if they spend too much time on the hook, or just get hooked three times, they're dead. Also, there are some items that allow you to just straight up kill the survivor by hand, but come on. That's mean, you don't want to be mean. So that's the basics of the game. Survivors survive, and the killer murders. But the main selling point of DBD, that's the cool way of saying it by the way, um, kinda chill with it, is the collaborations they do. Every few months, a new chapter comes out in Dead by Daylight, which usually includes a new map, a new killer, and a new survivor. And these can either be completely original characters made by the Dead by Daylight team, or licensed characters. It's supposed to be like a museum of horror, which means you can get matchups like Leon from Resident Evil going up against Leatherface, Bill from Left 4 Dead going up against Jason, or Cheryl from Silent Hill going up against Springtrap. Oh what, they they haven't added Springtrap to the game? Huh. Weird. Now if you're not a part of the DBD community, you're probably thinking, or at least should be thinking, wow, this sounds really cool. The fact that there's so many characters available that includes a bunch of horror icons means that it has something for everyone. And the fact that the gameplay is completely unique and horror franchises often have surprisingly nice communities. Hello, Reddit. This game's community is probably great. I'm sure they don't take it too seriously, they're kind, and they let people play how they want. No. Despite almost every odd, for some reason, this game has one of the most toxic communities in gaming. Fuck! Now, obviously, this does not mean everyone. I'm not going to go around saying that there aren't some great, positive people who play this game. And if you're one of those people, I think you're cool. But a pretty large portion of the players are really entitled. Let me explain. So because matches of Dead by Daylight only have five people in them, for some reason a lot of the players seem to think that everyone has to play by their personal rules. The best way to describe it is like this. You know how when you were in school and you were playing, let's say, hide and seek with some friends, and there would always be that one kid. That one kid that would just completely changed the rules of the game when they got caught. You know what I mean? Here, let me visualize it for you. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, hi. whoa! Hi. What are you doing? Oh, I was gonna kill you. Um, because I'm the killer. I'm literally in the safe zone. I'm doing a gen. There's a safe zone? First of all, I'm not even playing, okay? I'm not playing. Second of all, I'm doing a gen. Stop gen camping. Third of all, what is that? Th this? This is a... This is a hammer. I was gonna, you know, kind of kill you with it. Let me guess, you're only using it because it's meta, and it's broken, and you're toxic. Oh, well... Well, my goal as the killer is to... kill you. Um, and the game gave me this thing that's good at killing, so I thought I should probably... You know, use it. Ugh, you know what, just... Okay, what are you doing now? And it's a Lightborn user, great. You know, people like you are ruining this game. Do you see how this game works? It's very easy for people to make the game not fun for other players. And while doing this usually won't be effective at actually winning the game, it will be effective at making the other person want to uninstall the game. For example, a group of survivors could just stun the killer over and over again, which doesn't help you win, but is something you can do. And as the killer, you could just go for one person the entire game and camp them while they're on the hook, which, yeah, gets you like one kill, but you probably wouldn't end up getting anyone else and lose the game. But sometimes, 
People will stretch this to the point where they believe that if you don't play the game fairly, you're the worst person to ever exist ever. For example, I've seen survivors who think that because they've just been unhooked, that means that the killer is not allowed to go for them. So when they run straight at the killer because they think that they've picked up an invincibility star and end up getting chased again, they'll get angry at the killer and rant at them in the post-game chat. Or you'll have people who will accuse the killer of camping hooked survivors because they led them back over to the hook while in a chase. Now the eagle-eyed viewer may have realized that I've only given examples of toxic survivors and I'm not I'm not saying that it's almost always the survivors that are toxic I'm not saying that I'm not saying that the level of entitlement in this community is something I can't really say I've ever experienced anywhere else there are definitely much more toxic communities out there don't get me wrong and as I said before not everyone who plays this game is a weirdo, but there's just a ridiculous amount of people who take this goofy horror game way too seriously. I don't care if your water broke, ready the fuck up. And unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Each character in Dead by Daylight has three perks, which each give you an advantage in their own specific ways. And while this makes explaining Dead by Daylight to a new player the most difficult and embarrassing thing humanly possible, that isn't nearly as annoying as the people who cannot fathom that someone would want to use a perk that is good. Because this is a video game, some perks are going to be naturally better than others. That's just how it is. No game is perfectly balanced in every way. But some people in this game refuse to believe that someone will want to use the best perks because they want to win the game? Huh? Putting this logic in literally any other scenario shows how stupid it is. Watch. Imagine you're in a baking competition and you're presented with two options. You could have all the ingredients you could ever want, plus a mystery box and 10 grand, or four cable ties. It's time to decide. No, okay, we don't even need, we don't need a countdown. Okay, you're choosing the first one. All right. Um, actually, I chose the cable ties. <laughs> Shut up, man. Obviously, you would choose the first option. Anyone with a brain would. But imagine if the other contestants got angry at you for choosing it, despite the fact that they made the same choice. This is what baffles me the most about these people. It's like they think this game is their nine to five job that they have to log into every single day. And they exist in their own little bubble where everyone has to do things the way that they want. And if the person they're going up against wants to win the game, they need to die. I'll even admit it. I use Lightborn, the perk that stops survivors from being able to flashlights on you, almost every single time I play because it's really good and I get a stunning amount of serotonin when I piss people off with it. I also like to use the perk that lets you one-shot people. I also like to use the perk that makes you run faster while you're injured. And honestly, I sometimes even bring the gun item because it's like really broken, you can just kill the killer. I don't really understand why this game, out of all of them, has to be so unwelcoming, because I think it's really fun. Because the gameplay is almost entirely unique to this game, it's really fun to just get better. In other competitive multiplayer games, if you're good at one, you're probably going to be good at all of them. If you can shoot good in Fortnite, you can probably shoot good in Counter-Strike, which means you can probably shoot good in COD, an R6, an Apex, and Family Guy back to the multiverse, but you won't be good at Dead by Daylight because it's completely different. The competitive gaming scene is dominated by shooters, so how come the one game that's different and really enjoyable has to have such a shitty community? You don't have to get angry because the killer is trying to kill you, it's kind of in the name. You don't have to call the Dwight that looped you for four minutes a disgusting, sweaty abomination. He just survived well. Oh, he teabagged you at the exit gates? Okay, that's fair enough then. To put it simply, a lot of Dead by Daylight players are very immaturely entitled, and if you think you might be one of those people, come on. Like, there, there are more important things to worry about. Such as this video's giveaway for 100 tons of smoke fuse. Smoke fuse. <coughs> <coughs> Click the like button, <coughs> the subscribe button, and your house will be filled <coughs> with deadly smoke.